Welcome back everyone to our 11 day Mediterranean cruise with Norwegian Cruise Line. This is our third video in the series and will encompass our third and fourth days exploring the port of Livorno and sightseeing in Florence and Pisa, Italy. If you have any questions about cruising or Norwegian Cruise Line, make sure to leave them in the comments below. So the reason that we're kind of encompassing uh, these two days together is because it's an overnight in Livorno, Italy. So we're actually uh, not leaving the port uh, on our third day, we're going to be staying here overnight, which is really great for a lot of people. If you want to stay uh, in the city in Florence or over in Pisa or something like that and come back to the ship the next day, you can definitely do that. So as we uh, kind of hang out here in Livorno and we're kind of just walking around and checking out the, the town or the city out a little bit, um, you know, it's not like a huge tourist destination. I think almost everybody kind of never comes here. They go to Pisa or they go into Florence, which is what we're going to do. Um, and they kind of over, they kind of like skip over this, which is, you know, kind of sad. I mean, I think there's definitely plenty of places to come here and maybe just check out. Definitely nowhere near for a full day, maybe just a few hours. But um, what I will say is just kind of crazy, though, is that, you know, when we left the port today, we tried to take a taxi from the port into the city center and they immediately were trying to take us to the train station because um, I think that's just where so many people end up going is to the train station to kind of overlook uh, the city itself. So I'm sure that there are probably times, you know, throughout the year where they do some fun stuff, do some, some things that are a little bit different. But I think sometimes you just got to come into a port, even if it's not the main destination and just kind of take it in, you know, go get some food somewhere at a local place um, and just enjoy kind of the sights and the sounds and a little bit of the culture. So we sat down here in Livorno. I almost wanted to say Civitavici because I've been looking all that up. We're not there. Uh Yeah, I know. I can't say it right either. But uh, we sat down at a little restaurant here in the kind of like the like square. And uh, I've got my first Aperol spritz. And Taylor's like, I don't think you're going to like it. Taylor was right. It's a little bitter. Not overly sweet. Yeah, but take the water. They definitely brought us some water. We've got some bread and, uh, you know, hopefully some good food. So I don't think it's uh, overly expensive for kind of being in like a more touristy location. But like I said earlier, I don't know that like Lovorno is overly touristy because a lot of people will skip this place and go right to the train station and head to Pisa or Florence. So let's try it out and see. I think they're pretty good. They're pretty soft and tender. They're much smaller than what I would have expected. Did you say what you got? Oh yeah, um, it is a gnocchi with a red, uh, like a, a creamy sauce, pesto sauce uh, with the gnocchi. So um, it's pretty good, they're pretty tender. They're very, very small little gnocchis. You know, I think most restaurants back home, we get them and they're like larger uh, and sometimes very, very fluffy, just straight potato. This almost seems like they might have a little bit of flour in them to make them a little bit more of a pasta. But all in all, pretty good. Finished eating. Taylor, how was your risotto? You didn't finish it. I didn't finish it because I don't have, oh yeah, I do. I didn't finish it because I'm so hot. <laughs> I'm sweating. It is pretty warm out. What about your Aperol Spritz? Aperol Spritz is good though. Crystal and Bryson have basically down there. Oh, no. Looks like it was good. It was good. <laughs> so some left. Bryson, how's that ravioli? It did look pretty good. Amazing. Nice and light and refreshing. Very good. Hold on. How's that Aperol spritz over there? It's excellent. So good. <coughs> I tried to hide it, but I couldn't. Do you know what this tastes like? Great. Let's hear it. Go to Epcot. Go to Club Cole. Beverly. And have a Beverly. That is what this tastes like. That is the, that is the Italy. Yes. It is. This is Maybe exactly, that's the club soda they put in here. This is what this tastes like to me. What if it was? So we've officially uh, docked here in Lovorno, and it is uh, a pretty bright, sunny day. It's no, no clouds. It's uh, decently temperatured at the moment, and uh, we are making our way to the train station so that we can go see the Leaning Tower of Pisa, uh, which is kind of exciting. It's something that's a little bit different. Hey, Josh. Are we there yet? <laughs> Dad, are we there yet? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go this way. Let's go this way and around. 
This is it. Oh, we finally made it. We made it. I knew you would for 14 days and six hours. You just crossed the, the <laughs> Oregon Trail. We crossed the Oregon Trail. You did the <laughs> Oregon Trail. It's been 84 years. 84 years. I bet that takes We could have taken the bus, center. yeah. Tickets. Now the next challenge for us was just getting our tickets. Uh, once we arrived at the station, the system is fairly easy to understand and you're going to hear this over and over again when you're buying tickets. Beware of pickpocket. In case of need, ask only for the for more information. Uh, okay, so I think we want the 926. Yeah, only valid on selected day. Validated before departure. 819, 926. Right? 926. 926. Invalid card. Right, this here. is not taking. Let cards. me let me just buy all of ours. What's not working? It's Either not, of your cards? It, it keeps saying everything is invalid for some reason. But for whatever reason, we kept having an issue well, with our cards. It just, got out of line. I don't know, they, it just wouldn't accept it. And after about five tries at multiple different kiosks, we finally got it to work. And with that, we were off. But something you need to know, we don't know how other European rail stations work, but with the Italian rail lines, you'll need to validate your tickets before you actually board the train. Uh, and if you miss doing this, it could actually cost you a lot. So don't forget to do that. You'll see these little machines. You just insert your ticket and it puts a little punch in into it. And uh, that's the validation. So the train ride from Livorno to Pisa should only be about 15 minutes. And it cost us about five euros per couple. Um, it's a little bit over that, but roughly about that price. So not too bad. And the train that we're on right now is really, really nice. Now they're not all the same. Some of the trains are very different. Um, the one that was actually in before this one, uh, which was delayed, looked a little bit different. So I think that these are like really nice and uh, you know, it's an easy mode of transportation. However, here's the thing to think about. Um, something that Norwegian did to us, which was really sneaky, was they didn't tell us that like, you know, getting around and things like that needing to take the bus so we took the bus to the city central so they took us uh to the city central which ended up being like a mile and a half away from where the actual train station was so it would have been better for us to just take a taxi right from this train station or right from the port to the train station so keep that in mind exactly right so if you're coming into livorno uh, on your cruise just take a taxi pretty much wherever you want to go uh it'll probably be better so but we're on our way to Pisa which is really nice yay we made it so once we got off at the train in the Pisa Central station we realized we had about a 40 minute walk and we didn't realize this until later on but there's actually a station much closer to where Pisa's at. And so if you're gonna be docking in Livorno and you're gonna take the train, make sure that you go to Pisa San Rosor. Uh, that is a station that is only about 10 minute walk from the Leaning Tower of Pisa rather than the 40 to 45 minute walk we had walking from the Central Station. We made it. I gasped a little when I saw it. Can you take one on my phone from lower? because I might not be able to get the whole thing in the picture on my Instagram. Oh, Josh, watch out. <laughs> like literally so many people, it's so cute. <laughs> we can back up a little bit if we need to. Should I, should yeah. I help them hold it out? Since they literally stood like shoulder to shoulder. With me. Look at me on the side with my mouth covered. <laughs> yeah, no, don't walk on the grass. There's always somebody. There's literally chains and fences. <laughs> it wasn't just perfect, it was excellent. I think that's my favorite, like my favorite one now. The view is just, cause you can see it's slanted. It's actually quite like, quite tilted. I knew it was leaning, but, <laughs> but it's really leaning. <laughs> So we found a little restaurant right near the Leaning Tower of Pisa and we've ordered some food, some drinks. Um, we're kind of sharing some things because we'll probably end up eating some food later as well. Um, as, once we're finished eating, we're heading back to the train to go to Florence. Um, but we are starving. Um, of course, had to get an Aperol spritz because Italy. And, 
and there are some pizzas on the table. We did order pasta to share. So after eating our lunch, which was fantastic and great, we didn't really talk too much about it because we were starving and ate it super quick. We started making our way back to the second train station that I had mentioned earlier. And this one was only about a 10 minute walk. Now we still had to uh, make a connection in the Pisa Centrality station. So we were going back to the main station no matter what. And this just was an easier walk for all of us. And uh, again, I cannot stress to you guys enough how easy it is to use the trains here in Italy. Uh, it's just, it's really, really simple. It's fairly cheap. And they are well known for just consistently always being on time. So pretty cool. Uh, and again, super easy. We made a connection in uh, Pisa Centrale. And then it was about an hour or 45 minutes to Florence from Pisa. Well, we have been journeying what seems to be like all over Italy. And uh, we have now taken a train from Pisa to here in Florence. And we're just gonna be walking around. We're gonna check out a few of the sites before we make our way back to the ship because it is uh, unbelievably hot right now. It's about, uh, I think it's like almost up to like 98 degrees. So it's getting really warm. Uh, and we all need to be drinking a lot more water, which we aren't doing. Hello, hello. Uh, a big water and uh regular coke these are six for five so actually i'm gonna grab a couple of these real okay. quick is this a bear sweatshirt oh go this is bad attitude go. <laughs> you need it, it might be no it's a bear that's definitely a teddy bear Look at that's him. right there Look at him. it looks like josh <laughs> I wonder how much that is. Somebody I know definitely needs that. Bad boy. That was a bad boy. Oh, they're right there. 35. That's so cheap. You should get it. Oh, not for Josh. I'm beating funny. I only buy shirts that are like $9. dollars 99 and under. That is all he will pay. Wow. Wow. I did not know this is what we were coming to see. Holy. Wow, oh that's uh, God. that's actually pretty beautiful looking. Oh, it's all marble. Oh my God. I think so. So this is the Baptistry of St. John. And then, then this is that, that's the cathedral. That is beautiful. Just look at this place. It is uh, pretty incredible. I mean, the detail and all of the stonework. This is just absolutely amazing how they have the technology to be able to build and sculpt all of this stuff. So we've made it to, I think, probably like one of the most known or kind of uh, sought after places here in Florence, um, which is the uh, Florence Cathedral here. And it is an absolutely amazing building. I mean, just look at the stonework, look at the details. Uh, it's enormous, it's so big, it's so huge. And, you know, unfortunately, we're probably not gonna go inside of it today because uh, time-wise, uh, also, um, I think it costs maybe about 25 euros per person to go inside and take a walk around um, and walk around. So I think we're probably gonna skip that, but it is still something really cool. And I would highly recommend that you like make the train ride out. Like there's so much other stuff to do here in Florence itself, but uh, you know, we're not gonna get to do that much today. Um, but still, nonetheless, I mean, super cool. This is like, when we did that river cruise last year, these are the kind of cathedrals that I had imagined that we were gonna get to see um, at each of the big cities. So it's it's pretty cool. So, so I stand corrected. This, there is a line and it ends right here. And this is to get into the, uh, into the, to the, uh, the church here for free. So it doesn't cost you anything extra to go into this one entrance. Um, it's huge, but let's take a look. So this is the line. We're going to follow it kind of back around here over to the right hand side. Cause it's fairly long and it's not really moving. You guys can see so it comes back around now there is uh i think what i'm pretty sure of though is that girls can't have go in with their shoulders uncovered so some of these girls in line will not be able to actually go in um, unless they have a shawl covering uh, their shoulders 
But so there is a free entrance and it is, it's right here. So they're gonna be, uh, I think, checking kind of your shorts, checking maybe your bags and making sure that uh, everybody's appropriate to uh, step inside. But, I mean, like, look at how big this place is, it's huge. So thanks for watching everybody. Our Pisa, Florence, and a little bit of Livorno day. Next week is going to be awesome. We are going into Rome. We are going to see the Colosseum. We are going to see the Trevi Fountain and do so much more. I'm super excited. We had such a great time, even though it was again, super, super hot, a lot to do, a lot to see and so much to show. So thanks for watching everybody. And we will see you all in the next one.